welcome back to my channel. I'm wearing my Deathly Hallows shirt because I've been watching Fantastic Beasts. I've already seen it twice. And it was awesome. Anyway, so today's video is going to be the vinyl tag. I've been wanting to do this for a while, but I totally forgot about it until I recently saw somebody's video. And I'm like, that's a great idea because I have not done that tag. So here I am going to do this tag for you and yeah, let's get right into the video. Okay, so I'm going to have like the questions on my phone just so you know and I have a pizza. I mean, I have a shark eating pizza. Yeah. So the first question is how many records do you own? I own 136 records. What kind of record player do you have? I have an Audio Technica 120. Um, how old were you when you started collecting records? I was 20 years old. I'm 25 now, so for five years. What is the oldest record you own? So this was really hard just because um, I have many records and many are old, but I'm going to probably go with the Beach. This one is the Beach Boys 15 Big Ones. It is from 1976. So it was either this one and like my Fleetwood Mac one, or my boyfriend's Fleetwood Mac one. But yeah, so this one is technically mine, so I'm going to go with this one. What is the first record you ever got? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I can't answer this because I'm not 100% sure. Like I said, when I first started collecting, I was literally just going to Goodwill and like um, garage sales and just buying random ones. So I honestly don't know what was the first one. And that also goes um, for the what is the first record you got with your own money one. I don't remember. I mean, the only one that I really remember that I, like, bought is um, I got this one. It's the Breakfast Club. I got it at Goodwill for, like, $2. Um, so this is, like, the only one I vividly remember me, like, going and purchasing it myself. So it's not. it definitely is not this one, but I'm going to go with this one. What is your favorite colored vinyl? Um, probably my, um, imaginary numbers one from the main. It's just, like, such a cool, like, color. It's super awesome. So, I'm gonna go with that one. What is a discount album you own? I don't know what this question means. Does it mean, like, something I got on sale or something? If that is the case, I've gotten many on sale. I go to Goodwill all the time. I think that's, like, on sale, right? This is the one I most recently got on sale, Small Pulse um, Love Tap. So I don't know if that's what that question means. I'm just going to go with that. What is your prized possession? My prized possession is, um, I think my most prized possession is um, something Corporate North. Just because this is like my favorite album and when they repressed it, like I had to get it. This one and Everything in Transit, like those are kind of my my prized possessions. A record by a female artist. I picked Rin Weaver. I love her so much. She's so good. Like if you haven't checked her out, I would go check her out. Like she's so good. Um, so definitely her. A record by your favorite band. Obviously. Yeah! The main. <laughs> The main American candy just because this is my favorite album by them. An impulse buy. My impulse buy was recent. Like usually I buy stuff because I want it and I guess all my buys are kind of impulsive. But this one for sure was an impulse buy because it was like forty dollars almost and I don't really spend that much on a record. But like I I have wanted this one for so long, and it's Sigur Rose. I think it's Sigur Rose, um, tack, so that's kind of was an impulse buy. A gift. So, you know, surprisingly for collecting, like, records, I haven't really been gifted many. Um, like, my boyfriend will buy me some, but I'm there. <laughs> like, so it's not really a gift. And, like, my ex gave me some, but those are, like, really old, so I don't know. I'm not going to show them. And... I don't think anybody has really gifted me a record. The only person are my two friends, um, 
they gave me this one for my birthday so they're kind of like the first people to really gift me a record which is very rare like everyone knows I collect records like my whole family you would think that they would get me records as gifts or somebody would give me I give records as gifts but nobody really has given me so they gave me the Smiths the Queen is dead so yeah my most played record I honestly don't really have a most played record um, if I did, it's probably the mains American Candy. So that is definitely my most played. Because I usually take turns. Like, I have so many records that I will, like... Like, I feel like listening to this today. So I don't really have, you know. Um, a rarity is probably um, Imaginary Numbers by The Main. That's, I feel, is rare. Just because a lot of people have said, like... You really can't get it. A rainy day record. I always used to, and I still do, I listen to Ryan Adams Gold all the time on a rainy day. And I always used to do this. Like, I still do. I've been doing it for years. Like, for four years. <laughs> this is my go-to rainy day record. A feel-good album. I picked... I picked Jack's Mannequin, Everything in Transit, because, ever like, all these songs on this album are just so feel-good, like, ugh, I can't explain it. They just, they make me feel so good. A nostalgic record, I picked So Wrong It's Right, just because every time I listen to it, it takes me back to my youth. A record store day purchase. So, I actually have never purchased anything on record store day, one time I placed an order online on Record Store Day and like it didn't go through and I never got the record because I guess it sold out. And I've always had to work on Record Store Day so like I never have had a chance to actually go and like purchase anything which is very depressing. I've always wanted to. So yeah, unfortunately I don't have one. So my recent purchase is Cope by Manchester Orchestra. So yeah. Alright, well, that was my video. Hope you guys enjoyed that tag. And don't forget to subscribe down below. And if you're watching this, let me know what um, if you like Harry Potter and what house you're in. I'm Slytherin, but yeah, let me know. Alright, bye guys. See you next time.